Hey, Jaguars, welcome to the 101st episode of Ralph's Universe, the reboot. That's right. I did say the 101st episode. Yep, the 100th episode of the reboot has come and gone. Yeah, if you miss it, there's no need to cry about it. You can still see it. The link is in the description section of this video. Flash info bar. Do you have any idea how lame that's getting? Yeah, you should know about lame preteen. My anime show is on top. How is your TV show doing? F you, preteen. No, it's F you, CSC. Hey, you too. I don't think this is the time to be doing this. And why not? Because we have a very special guest joining us for this episode of the reboot. And I mean, big, but, preteen. You told my girlfriend, F you, and I don't appreciate that, at all. So, I'm going to deal with you. Uh, Rocky. Bruce Wayne is here, and he's waiting. What? Bruce Wayne's our guest? Yeah. D. Bruce Wayne. The chairman and CEO of Wayne Enterprises. And the star of Batman, the Telltale series. So, you need to know your place and behave. You probably don't know how to, but you figure it out. Fine. Please come in, Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne, welcome to Ralph's Universe. It is an honor to have you here. Thank you, Rocky. It's great to be here. I'm a fan of this web show. OMG, Mr. Wayne, you watch our show, and you're a fan of Ralph's Universe, the reboot? Yes, CSC. I am a fan of this show, and you can call me Bruce. Hey, Bruce, you watch this show because of me, right? I'm your favorite one on here, aren't I? No comment. Huh, that's a big fat. No. All right, we're here to review the video game known as Batman, the Telltale series. And Bruce, you and your counterpart are the stars of it. Part one of our review is what you're watching right now. And part two will be on the Ralph Jag YouTube channel. The link to part two will be in the info bar of this video. Now, the Telltale series is different type of series than what we're used to. The Telltale series is an episodic point and click graphic adventure video game that allows the single player to choose specific action that sets the tone of the game. How is this different from other, regular types of games? Don't you get to control the character that, the game is about? True. But in the Telltale series, you get to choose the outcome, of most of the game story. I still don't get it. Don't bother, Bruce. This is the norm with preteen. He never gets it. Interactive Entertainment under its DC Entertainment label. The initial release date was on August 2, 2016. This game can be played on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Android, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, iOS, and Macintosh operating systems. So, this game is playable on any game system. A very good feature of this game is the storyline. All die-hard Batman fans know that, the origin of Bruce Wayne and his parents has been discussed in many Batman stories. Whether it's the comics, TV shows, or movies. But the Telltale series decide to put an interest, if not a real twist in the history of the Wayne family. That's right. In this story, the writers have decided to put the legacy of Thomas and Martha Wayne in danger, by having them be accused of associating with gangsters. Thomas Wayne was a cool guy. He would never do business with the mob. But in the Telltale series, they decided to change all of that. They become the targets of character assassination. Thus, 
Making things shaky for Bruce Wayne at Wayne Enterprises. I hear that. Ralph Jaguar did a lot of research for this game. He always does research for reviews. Bruce. RJ is known as the research guy. Well, I think that's a good way to review subjects, preteen. You should find out what it is that you're reviewing. Let's take a look at the pictures of the major characters of Batman, the Telltale series. While we're doing that, Bruce, you can tell us what you think of them. This will be interesting. A real good guy and a great cop. Commissioner James Gordon is whatever cop should be. He's a real good and tough cop. There's nothing good about this guy. He's a mob boss that hides behind his goons and has other people do his dirty work. Carmine Falcone is the head of the Falcone crime family. He's a mob boss, but not big time, though. He's lightweight to Batman. Well, most criminals are lightweight to Batman. Total scumball. This guy is pure evil. The Penguin tried to take over Wayne Enterprises. All part of a planned scheme to take over the city. But Batman stopped him. Trust me, Jaguars. You're going to enjoy beating the Penguin down. Because by the time you get to the end of the game, you'll be annoyed by the Penguin. I was annoyed by the Penguin when I first saw him. He's trash. A real tragic and sad story, here. He's a good guy with lots of issues. Just like most of Batman's enemies. They're all the fed up in the head. He started out, good at first. But when Harvey Dent became the mayor, of Gotham City in this game, he really lost his mind. And became Two-Face. With or without the skirt half. A very extraordinary woman. You never know what to expect from her. This is Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman. Her first meeting with both Batman and Bruce Wayne is rather interesting. The game starts out as Selena first dates Harvey, and then Bruce steals her away from Harvey and F's her. That's inappropriate, Naruto. Very. Sorry about that, Bruce. It's alright. Well, I don't mean to be nasty, but Jaguars, you will enjoy the scene of Bruce and Selena together, in her apartment. Now, that's being rude. Just so you know. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Really? This is a very complex character, that brings a lot to the table. She's mad about a lot of things. This is Lady Arkham, whom by now, you know is Vicky Vale. We've seen Vicky Vale in lots of Batman stories. But this is the first time ever that she is a villain. Even the main villain in the story. And that has never been done before, Jaguars. I believe that's the whole point of the Telltale series. They take usual series and icons, and turn everything upside down. That's what they have done with Batman's mythos. Here. There's not much that needs to be said about my alter ego. Batman is a legend that needs no description. Batman is... the... man in Gotham. He's the greatest hero ever. And Bruce, you are a great chairman. You're perfect to represent Wayne Enterprises. Both Batman and Bruce Wayne are cool. They do great things for Gotham City. All right, everybody. In closing, we can just tell what do we think of this game as a whole. I think this is a good Batman game. I don't think it's the best Batman game, but it's a good one. I guess this game is all right. All right? Yeah. All right. It's like Big said. It's not the best Batman game. But compared to most games, Batman, the Telltale series, is real good. 
I really like this game. All Batman stories are epic. I like this game, because the story is really unique. There are lots of Batman stories, but not one like this one. Bruce, what do you think? I think this game is very unique and rare. Whether you compare it to other games, or not. Bruce, thank you so much for joining us, as we review Batman, the Telltale series. Thanks for having me. This was exciting. Alright, Jaguars. That's it for this episode of, The Reboot. Please check the description slash info bar, for the links to our other web series and videos. And I strongly recommend that you all subscribe to the YouTube channels of, Ralph J Images. Yeah, we got some, epic, stuff going on. Peace out till later.